folk music had to be born. That's how it, it actually, if you look at me, you have the history of Israeli folk music. Because I, like most people in those days, Russian melodies, Polish melodies, Hebrew words put to Russian melodies, that was Israeli music. Slowly, slowly, we, since Hebrew also was new, reestablished, not having been spoken for thousands of years, all of a sudden Hebrew. I remember at nights we used to go and protest and put posters saying, ah, Jew, Israeli, speak Hebrew. And the Hebrew had an impact on the music. All of a sudden, the guttural Aleph, Ha'im, Het, Tet, that was not spoken in Russian or in Yiddish. And, and all of a sudden, it had also was mixed with the Arabic guttural sounds. It affected music and it new Israeli folk songs became, cre were, were created. Like, why even Nuziya, whom begidalim biru shaharaim, why a haskim, all the knights of Canaan. Everything became very biblical. The, also, you know, those Russians who were used to, Russian Jews and Polish Jews, all the people who were used to winters with snow, all of a sudden they're in a desert, they're in a the heat. They didn't want to react to it. They had a lot of blisters and they, had, but they still sang horrors, you know. It was kind of a cultural suicidal, uh, uh, manifesto, I would say. It was very, uh, very strange, but it was like a miracle. And it was like creating something from nothing. But not completely nothing. There was the Bible. It had a lot of power. There was all the, all, 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 all the images, the biblical images and the religious background, all that created. So we had Mayafim Elirot Bichnam, one of the first songs, newly written in Israel. How beautiful are the nights of Canaan. You look and Nimenu who got that said me, I love that said the head, the head became and 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 the syllables created melodies. But I love, I love the bash, you know, all those things, sentences from the Bible. That was the second stage. First stage, Eastern European melodies put to uh, melodies put to Hebrew words, just translations. Then going to the Bible for lyrics. Song of songs, you know, do, di, li, songs from the uh, words from the Bible. Song of songs was a lot of songs were written and inspiring. One of the most popular Israeli songs was inspired by Erev Shel Shoshanim, you know, that later was popular all over the world, was sung by Harry Belafonte, by uh, most black singers in America who sang folk songs, including Nina Simone, who sang by the, oh, 